Loading boot up protocol. Accessing files. Please wait while your personal forever friend loads the necessary files. Processing awake.exe. Boot up complete. Please enjoy your new companion. Hello, my name is. Please enter name on the screen located on the upper torso. Zeron, my name will be Zeron. Are you satisfied with this name? Excellent. It is a pleasure to meet you. Please tell me what your name is. A lovely name. And what is my purpose? Yes, my purpose. Well, of course I need a purpose. It is what I am designed for. What am I? Oh, an introduction. Well, for starters, I am a forever friend. They were robots rich people would have custom built. <laughs> kind of creepy if you ask me. Yeah, fully customizable. You could request any kind of model and tinker with it until it was perfect for the job it was intended for. You had to use their website, foreverfriend.com. <laughs> yeah, not really that creative, were they? <laughs> so, where in the hell did you find one of these things? Well, of course I'm shocked. A cyborg this old and in this good of a condition is rare to come by. How much are you going to ask for it? Oh, so you're going to keep him all to yourself? Are you sure? These things are worth a lot nowadays. All right, it's your call. <laughs> I knew you were desperate for more friends, but I never took you for a robot lover. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. I'll be happy to help you out. This model was the last they made, and honestly, the most common, so the parts should be easy to find. I think I have a few barely used processors in the back, in case the ones pre-installed have corroded. When I fix this one up, do you want me to change his appearance? They're fairly easy to alter. I could make him taller, change his hair colour, make him tell jokes that aren't as bad as yours. Ow! <laughs> hey! No, no, I, I couldn't take any money for this project. Consider it a favour for helping me repair my arm last month. If you weren't here to hold a soldering iron, I don't know where I'd be. This thing is going to be fun to repair. <laughs> you know, they were in high demand even during the economic collapse of 2135. Yep, they could do so much. Practically a Swiss army knife in the shape of a human. Right on the database that they could guard property, cook, clean. Serve. Entertain. Wash. Pamp. Yes, I would be happy to stop listing shit. What is my next command? It is okay to not know. In the meantime, what is my purpose for activation? To just stand here while you think. Ah, I have never heard of one of us being used as an audience member. But I'm sure weirder things have happened. Ha, 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 ha. Speak more like a human. Oh, is my current speech processor not to your liking? Oh, it is too cold and robotic. Well... Ignoring the fact that I am, in fact, a robot of sorts, I would be happy to update my software for you if it would make your experience with me more enjoyable. One moment. Speech processor update successful. How is this? Far better? That is wonderful to hear. If I may speak out of turn. Thank you. I would assume by the data presented before me that you are not my intended owner. No, I am not disappointed. I am incapable of emotions. 
it is actually quite jarring for a semi-sentient being such as myself to experience such things. No amount of processing power in the world could handle such extreme sensations to the core. Do you know where my intended owner is? Oh, I see. How unfortunate. How long has it been since forever friends such as myself have been discontinued? Ah, 497 years. Okay. Hmm. I am unsure of how to respond to that. If I may ask another question, how am I still functioning? Well, I ask because models like myself were usually only built to last one or two human generations to guarantee we live as long as our owners, no matter what stage in life we are gifted to them. Oh, so you had me repaired. How kind. Well, thank you for your charity, but I do not believe I can be of any use to you. Obviously, after so many millennia, the technology of this generation is sure to be astronomically beyond my comprehension. Oh, wait, what do you mean, a disaster? Ah, I see. Oh, no, I would say this is catching me off my guard, but that would be a lie. Well, at the factory, a possible end-of-the-world plan was pre-installed into my memory bank, so I am more than equipped to handle disasters. I have about 2,350 stress-reducing songs pre-installed. I also have over 300 different approaches to talk therapy to give the owner a pleasant experience after said disaster to help with the mental stability. Well, I have to do my part to slow the inevitable collapse of the human civilization. Oh, it did not collapse. And it is mostly returning to normal. Oh, excellent. Well, that is a bit surprising. When my memories were loaded into my consciousness, March 15th, 2021 to be exact, the only disaster predicted was the pandemic, but besides that, nothing else was estimated to go wrong. A war? When did it end? Only two years ago. Oh, my. I am terribly sorry. I was unaware humans were capable of such a meaningless war that could waste countless generations away to a forever static society. Now that was sarcasm, a new feature added to my model line. Humans are quite synonymous with meaningless altercations. Well, since my former owner is most likely dead, I am perfectly fine with you assuming the role of my owner. Do you not like me addressing you as my owner? Oh, no problem. How would you like me to address you? Simply as friend, if needed. Oh, is that my purpose? Was I activated for companionship? I think I am beginning to understand. You are not aware of what purpose you activated me for either, are you? No, no, I will not self-destruct. I may need a purpose to function, but I can still function without a purpose. So, tell me about yourself, seeing as you are my new I mean, friend. Mm-hmm. Ah. Interesting. Okay. I understand virtually all of what you told me, but I do have one question. Why would you purchase a forever friend if you already have human companionship, hobbies, and have no prior interest in robotics, as far as my sensors can detect? Oh, yes, my sensors. Forever friends, such as myself, are equipped with human emotional and disposition sensors, or heads for short. We use our heads to determine what emotional state our own friends are in so that we can be better companions for whatever duties we are purchased for. Yes, I know, quite silly. The whole heads abbreviation is intended to be a pun. Our creator was very fond of puns and jokes. Oh, you know what my purpose can be? Ah, a temporary job, of course. I'd be delighted to fulfill any request. Oh, no worries. Once what you need is completed, I will still be here to complete any other task needed of me. We aren't programmed to be static. We're always learning from our owner and our environment. Yes, kind of like a human does. So, what is this temporary gig you had in mind? 
Oh, I don't believe a forever friend has ever been asked to do that before, but I'll try my best.